for Salesforce's nonprofit success pack, we want to create a job now that we've already created a volunteers campaign. So what we do is we select the volunteer application. When the application uh, shows up on the screen, you'll see again it's new tabs. Looking for the, uh, the campaign tab, I don't see it, so what I'm going to do is to go to more. Uh, pick the campaign tab here. This is going to list all the campaigns associated uh, that, that we have available to us. We're going to select the one that we've already built. Uh, what we find is, is that we arrive on the details page with information that we've already entered. Uh, to see the jobs, we're actually going to go there to related fields, which is related lists and links. Uh, one of those is campaign members, which would have been if we were doing a donor campaign. But in this case, we're actually doing a volunteer campaign. We have no jobs currently associated, so we're going to create a job. And in this case, we're going to call this a, uh, a sound tech just as an example job. And you could create multiple jobs, obviously, within within this campaign. Uh, it's inheriting the campaign name. Additional fields kind of we could add. Uh, and if you float over these, they'll actually tell you uh, kind of what is what's you know what what is this field? What is it used for? This is a pick list which means you can change these depending upon the specific needs that you have. Uh, you've got an opportunity to add location and location details. These are rich screens. Um, I'm not going to worry about that for now because we could obviously fill those in later. I'm going to save this one, and I'll be saving a job. You'll, you'll see is that we're now, for this campaign, we now have a job. If I want to create an additional job, I have two ways of doing it. One is I could create new and build it all. But if I fill in all those fields, I'd actually like to, to, to you know, build off of that. So what I'm going to do instead is to use this clone feature. So what I do is to go into the, uh, the, the, the job. Uh, I happen to know hidden over here is something called a clone. What I can do then is to change it to uh, a lighting tech role and say, yeah, I do want one of those as well. So that would inherit all the information the sound tech had. By saving that, what I get a chance to do then is to go in and look at the campaign again, related list to see what jobs are associated. In this case, what I have is two jobs. And we've made it work.